Steve. I'm Kathy Fillion. And I'm Steve Piacenza. And today we're going to show you how to work with the amazing product, Dimensional Magic. Now there's three formulas to Dimensional Magic. We've got clear. And we have silver. And we have gold glitter. Wow, that is magic. Now, Dimensional Magic creates a hard glass-like surface for any of your crafty projects. The first project that we want to show you is using Dimensional Magic with pendant trays for jewelry making. And the one that we made is this one right here. And you can see it's just a mini collage inside of a pendant tray. And you can pick these pendant trays up at lots of different places. There's two different types. There's one type where it's flat and smooth across the entire back. And you can see that one is filled in and finished there. And then there's another type where the bale sticks out a little bit over the flat surface. And if you're working with that style, then you're gonna wanna make a little shim, like a furniture shim. A little lift. But I like to just use toothpicks um, and just level that out. That way, once your Dimensional Magic's dry, you'll get a nice, flat, even surface. And what you're gonna do is just sort of, you don't wanna shake your bottle because you don't wanna create air bubbles, but just gently give it a turn or two. And in this frame, this pendant frame, you can see that we've layered up a mini collage. And we used Mod Podge to attach the background paper. Then the word love, we added some gems and a resin rose. And then what we'll do is just pull a little bit out on our mat. And then we'll go in and fill in that tray with the dimensional magic. And it's going to look cloudy right now, but it's going to dry completely clear. So you'll just go around. Fill in all the areas, just work around that flower. You can embed all sorts of things in here, little charms, rhinestones. The designs are it. endless. It, it really is it endless. Is. Now you can see I've got a little air bubble. If you get an air bubble, you'll just take a sewing pin, go in and pop that pin. Oh, go in and pop that pin. <laughs> go in and pop the bubble. Pop the bubble with the pin. Yes. <laughs> Just like so, super easy. And then you're gonna wanna let this dry for about three hours. I personally like to let it dry overnight so yeah. when I wake up in the morning I have a beautiful piece of jewelry finished. True, and you wanna make sure that it dries in a non-drafty area. Yes. You want it to be, uh, the, the air completely still when it dries. Yeah, and just let it lay flat. Don't yeah. pick it up and move it around. Let it lay flat and that way you'll get a nice even surface. Now this is great for doing pendant tray jewelry. You can also use our podgeables and the podgeables are these clear shapes here and they've already been drilled so that you can string them up into charms or pendants and for these you can mod podge right on the backs or on the tops of them. You can add gems, charms and then go in and again just add your dimensional magic to create that hard glass like finish on it. So super easy. Absolutely. So fun and kid friendly. And so many other projects to make with these. Look at the rings over here that we've done, bracelets, even a belt buckle. And it's really fun. A lot of people are altering uh, game pieces and stuff. So you can do Scrabble tiles over here. You can see I've got just an old domino. For things like that, you can just glue a bale onto it. Yeah. You can turn almost any little wood it's true. piece or podgeable piece or game piece or yeah. any of that into some fun fashion jewelry. But it's also not just jewelry that Dimensional Magic That's works nice. with. Also, paper projects. And we love Dimensional Magic for that. Take a look over here. What we've done just on this tag, look at this bag, and we added this tag to it right here. And you can see we added a die cut and this other little decorative piece of paper right here with Mod Podge onto a tag. And Dimensional Magic works great for, let me have that clear. <laughs> I was hiding it away. She was hogging <laughs> Dimensional Magic. And what's great about the Dimensional Magic, it comes with this great nozzle tip here that gives you really detailed work. So let me go right on top of this die cut, and you can see how when you pull out the Dimensional Magic, it actually stays exactly where you put it. It doesn't go over. It still gives it that clear, raised look, but it doesn't flow over the areas that you work with it. That's the cool part That's about it. That's the magic part. That is the magic. Very simple, clear, hardened, raised look, 3D effect, beautiful. Down here at the bottom, you can also do larger areas. You can go all the way around. I just like to go around the rim a little bit. And then I like to fill in the center, just like so. This is so fun if you want to just make a quick card for someone or even this like a package tie-on. Just add that extra little kick. 
Yeah, just like so. And let's fill that in very quickly. And remember, if you have an air bubble, just grab that pin and pop it. Now this stuff, Dimensional Magic, is great for mixed media projects, for card making, for tag making, for collages. This here is a little home decor piece here, and you can see we've detailed it out. We just added it to certain areas. We might punch the piece of paper down, and then the certain areas, these dots here, we just added Dimensional Magic to give it that extra little boost, that extra little extra look. Kick. Yeah. Now, there's another way to use Dimensional Magic, and that is... This is one of my favorites. Super cool. Favorites, favorites. The nozzle tip's great, but you can also brush it on. So what we did is we added the Dimensional Magic to a larger surface, and then we used a flat brush and just went over the whole entire thing, which gives it the large Dimensional Magic hard surface look and a beautiful gloss. So, you know what? Mixed media projects and collages in our pieces. Try this stuff out. It's fantastic to highlight anything. Great. So fun for that. Yeah. One of my favorite new formulas of Dimensional Magic is the gold glitter formula. Of course it is, because it's glitter. glitter. <laughs> this is going to create a gold shimmery look. Still has that hard, glassy finish. Really fun for any of your jewelry where you want to add a little highlight or for making embellishments, scrapbooking embellishments, mixed media pieces, that kind of thing. We started with this, which is our heart podgeable. Then we used some of our papers from our romance pack. We used the key paper and just decoupage that on there with matte Mod Podge. You can use gloss, it doesn't really matter. Add some little embellishment there. And then what I like to do is, I don't really like to shake the bottle, but what Steve invented it, it's sort of a tap. It's a tap. tap. And it gets any of that glitter that might be stuck to the sides of the bottom. It just moves it, it around and mixes it up. Works great. So you'll want to just kind of precondition your bottle, make sure all your glitter is mixed up. And then what you're going to do is you can go in and you can add highlights to certain areas if you want, just like so. You can border your project. And again, it has this no run formula to it. Yeah. So it's not going to spill out over your edge, even if you're right there on the very edge. If you want to fill in your whole look, I just use the nozzle tip. If you want a thick coat, if you want a thin coat, you can go in with the brush, yeah. just like on the canvas. And what I love about the gold and the silver coming up is that it's really loaded oh, yeah. with the glitter inside the lots dimensional and lots magic. Of sparkle. Yeah. So you can see you can just keep filling in just like so until your whole heart is covered up. Now, again, we're doing this on a podgeable. You can do it on a canvas. You can do it on jewelry. Yeah. It's endless. Anywhere you would put dimensional magic. Absolutely. Get creative with this. You can just add a little sparkle with this one. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the silver now. I love this one. And the silver right here, it's, you know, it's the exact same product, gold, clear, and now silver. And let me show you. It gives it, it, this is great for like butterflies or fairy, fairy wings, yes. mystical, because it's a very hologram look. Let me show you. Right here on this butterfly, you can just detail it out. I've done these other four butterflies. I did the whole entire butterfly, but this one I'm going to just show you how you can go in and again, highlight certain areas. So what I want to do is highlight those wings to give it that mystical look. And I'm just going to kind of what is it? Flutter it out? Flutter it. Oh, that, that's good. That's Butterfly flutter. And as you can see, it goes on a little bit cloudy and you can still see the sparkle in there, but when it dries is when the sparkle really, really comes out. It's um, super intense. So just like so. And again, let this dry for at least three hours in a non-drafty area. Once it's dry, you can see how absolutely great it is. It's just got sparkle everywhere. We've, we've done edging on it. I mean, it's endless. Yeah. You can do fine detail work. You can do grungy mixed media work. It's a really, really fun new formula. Get creative with this. And thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Mod Podge with Kathy and Steve. Join us next time for more tips, tricks, and project ideas. See ya. Bye. I want to make more. Well, do you want to make a heart? Key to my heart? Well, it's fine. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's see.